We are releasing additional portions of the audio recording from that day. The person talking is one person. Somebody has to know this person, recognize that voice. We continue to move forward, strive for justice, and we will get that justice. In February 2017, two young girls, Abby Williams and Libby German, set off on a simple hike near their Indiana hometown. But that peaceful trail led them into a nightmare. Days later, their tragic deaths shook the entire community of Delphi. For years, their families, friends, and neighbors were haunted by the question, who did this? And would justice ever come for Abby and Libby? Abby and Libby, both bright teenagers full of dreams and laughter, vanished one chilly afternoon while walking on the Monyon High Bridge Trail. Their lives were taken far too soon, but they left behind a critical clue, something that would eventually help catch their killer. A search spanning years would keep the memory of these two girls alive as the people of Delphi united in their desire for justice. Abby and Libby, close friends in middle school, loved exploring together. They were typical teenagers, filled with curiosity, laughter, and a sense of adventure. On that fateful day, their only plan was to spend time together on a well-known local trail. Richard Allen, a 52-year-old pharmacy technician, lived quietly in Delphi. He was a familiar face in town, and nobody suspected he could have been involved in something so dark. But by October 2022, over five years after the murders, police arrested him, and shocking details began to emerge. On February 13, 2017, Abby and Libby left for the trail in the early afternoon. The two girls walked along the scenic bridge, taking pictures and videos on Libby's phone. But things took a dark turn. Sometime that afternoon, the girls encountered a man. Libby managed to capture a video on her phone of him telling them to go down the hill. It would be the last record of their lives. The next day, their bodies were found in a wooded area near the trail. Delphi mourned, and the question everyone asked was, who could do this, and why? The investigation to find Abby and Libby's killer was long and intense. Law enforcement combed through the evidence and conducted countless interviews. Today's the day we're gonna get closer to getting justice for Abby and Libby. We have all worked tragic cases, nothing like this. It's, uh, it's definitely tough. I mean, I've, I need to be here for Abby and Libby because I'm, gonna, I'm going to find who did this, and then we are going to hold them responsible for their actions. Libby's phone recording provided a voice, a silhouette, and that chilling phrase, down the hill. Still, no clear answers emerged. Years passed, and though there were countless rumors and tips, none led to the real killer. As investigators dug deeper, they considered various suspects and even the possibility of multiple people involved. I think what eventually what we'll be able to do is, is put the face of the murderer up in between those two sketches and we'll be able to merge them together and, and, and become one. One surprising theory suggested that a pagan cult might be responsible, based on certain clues. Allen's defense lawyers even tried to argue that Odinists, a small religious group, could be behind it. But the evidence to support this was thin, leaving the police and public without solid answers. It's frustrating. We all thought we would have answers five years ago, but we also know that law enforcement is doing absolutely everything they can and putting all of their time and effort into the case, and they want answers just as much as we do. In October 2022, investigators had a breakthrough. A local tipster led police to Richard Allen's home, where they found a gun that matched an unspent bullet found at the crime scene. Allen had lived quietly in Delphi with no criminal record. But when confronted, he made several confessions, some recorded on tape while in custody. The pieces finally fell into place, leading to his arrest. After a long trial filled with both painful memories and shocking revelations, a jury found Richard Allen guilty of murdering Abby and Libby. The verdict, delivered on November 11, 2024, closed a chapter in Delphi's painful story. Allen now faces a possible 130 years in prison, bringing justice for the girls and some sense of closure to their families and the community. Abby and Libby will never be forgotten. Their strength, especially Libby's quick thinking in capturing her final moments on her phone, helped bring a killer to justice. The people of Delphi can now try to heal 
knowing that their shared hope and determination led to the answer they had been waiting for all these years. If you're as intrigued by the world of mysteries and serial killer cases as we are, let us know which cases you'd like us to uncover next. Just drop your suggestions in the comments below. We're always looking to dive deeper into the stories that keep you on the edge of your seat. And don't forget to follow us on our socials for all the latest updates and sneak peeks into upcoming episodes. Be part of our community, where we uncover the truth, one case at a time.